Come on, Franklin. It's gonna be a fun. What is up? Welcome back to another holiday market showcase video. A few weeks ago, I drove down to Austin to attend Horror for the Holidays at the Palmer Event Center. This was my first Blood Over Texas event, and I really enjoyed this show. Um, I'll be adding this show to the rotation for 2024 for sure. Um, I like that this show is all about the vendors. I saw some familiar faces, as well as a lot of fresh new vendors, at least new to me, and they all had some really great uh, holiday-themed scary stuff, the usual stuff, but it was cool to see that some of them like Dead Dave Designs, he went through and had some uh, Christmas hats on some of your favorite uh, slashers and monsters, which was cool. So please go check out Dead Dave Designs uh, when you can. So while the show was vendor intensive, there was no shortage of great guests. Michael Hargrove, Candyman himself was in attendance, as well as not one, but three Texas Chainsaw Massacre guests. Alan Danziger, Jerry the Van Driver, Ed Gwynn, the truck driver that saved Sally at the end, and of course, Terry McMinn, Pam. She's always so friendly and fun to talk to. She's the best. Also ran into Scara, Damsel of the Doomed and Company from Bat City Scaregrounds. They had a super cool photo op, chimney set up in the back corner of the auditorium. So much fun, they would ham it up for anybody that was brave enough to get close uh, to their lair. Um, there were also so many great scare actors from House of Torment. They were constantly um, roaming the halls and, and really hammed it up for the camera, which is always great. I think it's so cool that these haunts don't just stop promoting after scary season, but they know, like we know, Halloween is 365, right? So props to them for keeping it spooky, not just for the month of October. There was also a scary Santa photo op available in the back center of, of the exhibition hall. I'm laughing because the teeth on this guy were great. They were so jagged and off center and other than, I mean, he did look very creepy in it and I'm kicking myself for not getting a photo op with him again for next year. I will be doing that. There was a lot of attendees taking advantage of this super fun photo op. So highly suggest. Probably my one regret was not staying for Sunday. This is when they do the Krampus parade. And from the footage I've seen, this is a must for this show, definitely a highlight. Keep in mind the parade is typically reserved for Sundays, so if you can only make one day and want to see the parade, make sure and go on day two. They even let children participate. They can uh, trail behind the, the Krampus, uh, the other monsters, and the, the whole parade of, of creeps. Um, it's pretty cool to see the kids get involved and, and have fun and play it up and really make the parade something special. Yeah, so that's about it for this quick yet insightful look into Horror for the Holidays, uh, Blood Over Texas at the Palmer Event Center. I hope you enjoyed this video and wishing you and yours a scary Christmas to everyone and to all a good fright.
Yeah, come to the Bad City Club. <laughs> we have presents, but what's in the box? We don't know. Is it bad or good? <laughs> You'll have to find out, my friend. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
any more fun tonight. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it.